What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com. Next time you guys want to buy your coins and make your team even better, go to the website and type the code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase. Also, if you ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you can go to the same website under the Self Foot 23 coin section. Yo YouTube what's going on welcome to another video to the channel y'all yeah, boys and today we're gonna go ahead and review team of the season Marquinhos we're looking at a card six foot medium high work rates right foot three star skill moves three star weak foot 90 pace 84 passing 84 dribbling 95 defending 90 physicality no defending traits in game now for the purpose of today's video I will be giving this card the anchor chemistry style because if you guys haven't noticed by now we are going to be reviewing this card on next gen, which means this card can be on lengthy. Yes, sir. Team of Marquinhos can be on lengthy, and we're going to put him on lengthy because I want to max out that strength. Because that's something I don't like about Marquinhos every single year is his body type. His physicality, he feels too weak at times. Hopefully, with this Team of Season Marquinhos, it changes my mind. So, acceleration 92, sprint speed 96, defending gets maxed out, and physicality goes up to the 90s, which is absolutely amazing. This card looks pretty good. Um, I am expecting him to be a top 10 CB in the game. Top 5 though, uh, I don't think so man. Maybe that's just me being biased. But Team of Season Marquinhos can be playing as a right center back. Right next to that flashback Kim Pemidic, which is absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't tried out that card, I highly advise you guys complete him. Top 5 CB in the game in my opinion. But with that being said, we're going to play some games with Marquinhos. Hopefully he locks it up in the back. I ho Hopefully he's a big body, man. Hopefully he doesn't get bodied off the ball. Hopefully he doesn't get bodied against top tier attackers. We're going to play some games and foot champs and see the vibes with him. All right, we finally got a game in champs. It's actually taking us some time. But we're going against Thanos FC. Let's see, we got a sweaty team. So we got a good back line, good midfield, and wow. <laughs> red man and red Jesus. Okay, okay, let's see the vibes. Oof, that was indeed clutch interception from the card. Nice. Okay, that was nice from Marquinhos. Okay. Nice interception. Nice. Bodies Jesus. Nice. Nice. I mean, Marquinhos is pretty quick. That's an assist. Oh, never mind. I jinxed it. Nice. Let's go. That was clutch. Nice. Good interception from Marquinhos. One thing I will say is that his jockeying and his dribbling is feeling very, very nice. He's giving me he's giving me Militao vibes right now. Let's see we read this passing lane. Nice. Good aggression. Oof, that was clutch from Marquinhos to not concede a pen. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Good tackle once again. Nice and clean. Oof. Nice job from Marquinhos. Okay. Doesn't lose the ball. Good stuff. Nice, good job. Let's go. Oh, that was clutch from Marquinhos. All right, nice. That was a nice interception.
Nice. Alright guys, and that concludes the player review for 95 rated team of the season. Marquinhos coming around 510,000 coins on the market by the time I drop this video. 390,000 coins on the PC. I'm not going to lie. That's really cheap. We played three games with the card and foot champs, three wins. Now comparing the 95 team of the season to the 91 foot birthday, I believe, you get a plus eight on the pace, a plus five on the physicality, a plus four on the dribbling and passing, and then a plus three on the defending. That plus eight on the pace is absolutely amazing. Now, my experience with this team of the season Marquinhos was actually very, very amazing, very, very good, and better than I expected. Because for the simple fact is that, like I said earlier in the video, I do not like Marquinhos' body type in-game. For me, it feels way too fragile, even more fragile than players like Militao. But to my surprise, Marquinhos, even with that body type, was able to hold his ground and almost, if not, win every single tackle, which is absolutely amazing. So let's get into what I liked about this card. And there's only one thing I didn't like about this card. Um, number one, work rates. Medium high work rates works, excuse me, works very well for the card. Pro number two, pace. 80 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. If you don't have CBs at this stage of the game, with at least one of the acceleration or sprint speed, 85 plus, it's, you're gonna feel a big difference. So, uh, pr another pro, 77 agility. His jockey game, like I said in the middle of the video, absolutely amazing, gives me Militao vibes, Sergio Ramos vibes. Even when you're dribbling out the back, absolutely amazing, man. He has very good ball control. I mean, it makes sense. He has 91 ball control, 99 reactions. So another pro from the card, the defending. Absolutely amazing defending with the 95 interceptions, 96 defensive awareness, transcending into those medium high work rates, like I said before. Um, he has 94 short pass. Obviously, he can pass out the back, even with the three-star weak foot. Now, the only thing I didn't really, I want to say not like about this card, but in the mixed category for me, like I said before, he did pretty good in the physical aspect because he has 88 strength, 91 aggression. He didn't get body off the ball, but he's only six foot. And you guys know me, I like CB 6'2 or taller. Especially if they're not gonna be 6'2 or taller, they gotta have a thick body type, that force field. You guys know what I'm talking about, that force field that like Van Dyke has, Lucio has, Maldini has, who else? Rio Ferdinand, Kempembe. Whenever you go around them, if you go near them, they're going to automatically, the defensive AI is so broken, they're gonna automatically step in and steal the ball from the attacker. Marquinhos doesn't really get that defensive AI presence in my opinion. Yes, he's still very good defensively, but that's the only thing missing from the card from being a perfect CB in the game. I still think he's a top 10 CB in FIFA 23. I just think that's the thing preventing him from being top, top, top tier. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about Team of the Season Marquinhos? Do you guys think he's very good? Do you guys think he's much better than what I'm saying right now at the moment? Or do you guys think he's not that good? Because 500,000 coins, am I going to lie, for a CB with 90 pace, that is kind of cheap. And he has very good links. So 95 rated Team of the Season Marquinhos is going to get a thumbs up from me, obviously. And his rating for today and what I think about the card, he's going to get a 9.5 five out of ten yes sir yes sir i think he was very very good better than i expected my eye better than i expected top 10 cb yes top five no not for me you guys let me know thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing the next video i will be dropping will either be a team of the season messy review or a team of the season lacazette review i'll do my best to try to review those two cards between tomorrow and monday and then maybe I'll do a, a Jonathan David or Fofana here and there. I'll see what's up. But thank you guys once again. You guys are absolutely amazing. It's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I'm out. Bye-bye.